Welcome back, Ants fans. Today marks a momentous occasion. Today I'll be unveiling to you not one, but two new queens. As I mentioned in my last video where I unboxed my Ants Canada Formicarium, side note, shout out to Ants Canada for making that possible. I was supposed to receive a Campanatus Pennsylvanicus queen last weekend, but because the vendor took so long, he decided to throw in a Mesa Barbarus queen for good measure. I swear, that's all it took to make me a satisfied customer. Well, good news. They both arrived alive a few days ago, and I've been working diligently to video them so I can officially unveil them to you. Before I do though, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you don't miss out on the updates that'll come as these colonies grow. So without further ado, Introducing Her Royal Highness, who has graciously gifted us with her presence all the way from somewhere in the Spain-Portugal regions of Europe, the saver of seeds, the gatherer of grains, the Messer Matriarch, Queen Demeter. Queen Demeter is from the genus Messer and species Barbarus. Messer Barbarus is a genus of ant that, as said before, hails from Europe. It's a harvester species. This species will send workers out to forage for seeds and bring them back to the nest where they'll store them for later. They'll process the seeds into an ant bread and feed it to the larva. This is a great way for them to get their protein and carbs, but like any ant, they won't turn down carbs from sugar or honey water or protein from any insects that happen across their path. It's hard to see because they're so small and she's covering them, but she actually has three eggs. That means in about six to eight weeks, she'll have her first workers or nanitics. During this time while she's alone, she doesn't need to eat. And I know what some of you are thinking, why is she in a test tube and not in an ant farm? You see, some queens are claustral, which means that during the founding stages of her colony, she'll seal herself off from the outside world. This test tube is meant to simulate that. As the colony grows, I'll move them into bigger spaces. While she's tending her brood, she won't eat. She'll sustain herself off the muscle tissue in her back that used to power her wings. That's right, ants have wings. Every year, new wing fertile male and female ants called elates will take flight. This is called a nuptial flight. After mating, the males will die and the queens tear off their wings and go in search of a new home to start their colony. I'm gonna leave Demeter alone for a while. I'll lock her up in a dark drawer and I'll only open her to check on her once every two weeks. This way, I don't disturb her while she's tending to her eggs or larvae. If stressed, she may eat her young and that could be detrimental to the colony during this period as it's very fragile. Say goodbye to Queen Demeter. We'll check on her in a few weeks. Introducing her eminence. She hasn't had to travel far as she's native to America and Canada. The captain of carpentry, the wizard of wood. Let's all give a warm welcome to Queen Hephaestia and her entourage of daughters, the Ninitic Nymphs. Queen Hephaestia is of the genus Campanotus and species Pennsylvanicus, otherwise known as the carpenter ant. Carpenter ants are best known as pests in people's homes as every year they cause a lot of damage to the wood structure in homes. They don't eat the wood like termites though. Instead, they build their homes in it. Campan is a large ant. I have no problem seeing these ants without the use of a magnifying glass. She too is fully claustral, but she came to me with six workers. These workers are the nanitics that I mentioned before. They're smaller, weaker, and more timid than the ones that'll come, and that's because they didn't receive all the necessary nutrients needed to grow big and strong. They were, after all, fed using their mother's back muscles. Being a single mom is tough. Now that they're big enough to forage for food on their own, it's up to them to take care of her now. Hephaestia's only job now is to bear children. The nanitics and the workers that'll follow will take over the duties of tending the brood as they grow. I've set them up using the AC portal. This will allow me to give them food without disturbing them too much. I've also taken the liberty of adding an additional test tube filled with sugar water. You see, the workers are done growing and have little need for protein anymore, but they do require carbohydrates to give them the energy that they need to do their jobs around the clock. The protein they collect is for the queen and for the larva. It's paramount that the queen gets protein so she can continue to lay eggs and the larva need it so they can grow up big and strong. Here we have one of our ladies feeding on some of the cut up mealworm I gave them yesterday. I pre-killed the food because they're still fragile and any deaths to the colony this early could spell catastrophe. What's that? I think I hear the dissenting voice again. I thought you said workers don't need protein. That's right. You see, ants actually have two stomachs. 
one that they use for personal digestion, and another social stomach that they use to collect food and bring back to the nest with. They'll share this pre-chewed food through a process called trophallaxis. Essentially, they'll vomit in each other's mouths, similar to how a mother bird feeds her young. As the colony grows, they'll be able to carry food back home, but for now, this will have to do. Look here, you can see this worker is sharing food with her sister. See how filled her gaster is? It's stretched out like a balloon. And look here, this worker is sharing food with the queen. I'm hoping that this protein boost will cause her to lay more eggs. It's a little blurry, but you can kind of make out the eggs underneath Hephaestia. It's the yellowish discoloration on your screen. Because these ants are so big, they take a while to grow. It'll take two months to go from an egg to a fully grown ant. I'm patient enough. Are you? That's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed meeting my new royal roomies. I'll be sure to keep you posted with any new info that I get. I'm new to this, so any help will be great. If you have any, leave some tips down in the comment section below, or just let me know what kind of content you'd like to see, and I'll try to get it for you. As always, thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more exciting discoveries with U.S. Ants. Bye!